Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're going to be looking in depth into the fatal blows of judo. And I've talked about Atemiwaza at first in the beginning, talking about how it should be uh, revolving around your grappling, either uh, striking before the throw or after the throw, as you see here, in order to end it. But it is not like constant striking and sparring with strikes but it is actually revolving around your grappling so uh, a lot of these strikes are dangerous between the eyes the eyes themselves the throat uh, the uh, temple as you see here the kazumi the groin the solar plexus so this video we're gonna do two things the first one is go through the book deal the first deadly blow uh, talk about the little details in the hand the different options of striking that you have and also the um, pressure not pressure points but weak points or the points that may do the most harm to strike them and the second one is going through uh, lethal blows and kuatsu kuatsu is meaning the restoration of life it's a form of physical therapy in case something like trauma or uh, a very hurtful strike you know is affecting someone how to do to heal them because as your training partner you have a responsibility towards them i've talked about this in my danzan ryu video okazaki how he was uh, very much uh, invested in this and it's very important and this is why i'm going to show you in this video so first um let's talk about the sensitive points uh, from the front you have the nose the eyes the neck obviously throat between the eyes uh, are also included uh, you have the solar plexus you have the groin is very sensitive you have the knees and of course you have the foot you stomp it for obvious reasons on the back you have uh, shoulders back of the shoulder uh, the elbow the wrist and also the spine and the kidneys so all these are very sensitive points for us to strike we are not grappling we are not trying to wrist lock or uh, pin but rather this is where where you strike it instantly hurts and debilitates your opponent for at least a few seconds so um, let's talk about the options of the striking that we have and the first one is here you see uh, i don't know the uh, the print is very clear so uh it's not very dark so the first one is like a fist but the the first two knuckles are pointed outwards so obviously this is something that's going to target uh, soft tissues like the throat the temple and uh, the side of the neck uh, not the jaw obviously because you're going to get injured and barely do any damage next one is the meaty part uh, below the fingers what uh, people refer to like how you strike with uh, karate or judo chop obviously on the side of the neck and back of the neck as well uh, you have the hammer fist uh, the meaty part what's cool about this is you can strike all day and barely uh, do any damage to your hand uh, so obviously like the the closed fist is the le the last option and the final one i don't know if you can see it but it's uh, pointed out fingers and you strike uh, with them so these are obviously very uh, good striking options but you need to be very careful and train them and harden them just like the karateka strike the woods and the hay uh, like the ropes etc in order to really strengthen and condition your hands the next options are uh, like flared out knuckles as you see here obviously again i would uh, suggest for soft tissues like the throat and uh, the neck and maybe like the temple as well and the next one is the simplest and the most effective in my opinion and that is the palm strike palm strikes i'll give you a challenge do a closed fist and uh, hammer your table see how many you can get with a closed fist and do the same with uh, an open palm open palm you can do hundreds if not uh, a few hundreds of strikes on the table while the closed fist you can only do maybe a few uh, dozens so unless uh, if you have extremely conditioned hands but i don't know anyone that does 
unless like, like I said, you're a karateka that's been doing this for decades. So let's move over to Kuwatsu. Like here you see, um, you have many tricks. Oh, by the way, um, in the description below, uh, because I love my audience, it's going to be a link of judoinfo.com that has several copies of PDF books for free to download, including the two books that I'm mentioning here in this video. So uh, Kuwatsu is a, is a form of healing. For example, here, if someone is struck on the throat, uh, on the, uh, uh, the temple, on the stomach here, you sit them, you rub like with barely any pressure. You can also include your elbow. I'm not going to go through all of them because that would be me going through the entire book, but I'm going to go through the main ones. Uh, like I said, you can go read the book. It's a sh short book. You can really enjoy it. And also, it's very important to learn Kowatsu because like I said, we are sparring, we are doing randori. All the time people say, you know, your partner is your responsibility to keep them safe, respect the tap. Uh, we have all these things. So Kowatsu should be mandatory from day one, from white belt, because it's not that complicated up until like your death basically so here you see this is for the more serious uh, injuries for example uh, back injuries uh, traumas to the head if they got strangled and fell asleep you put them on their stomach I know I've seen for example uh, when someone gets choked out they lift their legs while they're uh, on their back to obviously get the blood rushing to their head but here you see if someone gets strangled they say in the book lay them on their stomach apparently it pumps easier to their head i'm not really sure i need to read uh, more into the book uh, and finish it so uh, here you have multiple positions for multiple types of injuries or blows and how to deal with them how to restore uh, their life so it is very considerate is a very moral teaching in my opinion Kano sensei knew this Okazaki implemented this in Danzan Ryu here you see far more options for they call them tricks far more options for restoring life uh, here sitting them up in order to gain consciousness and applying subtle pressure on the back so for example here uh, the next one is when someone uh, experiences like uh, severe uh, blows to the back for example if you play guard and you're explosive you can uh, wake up the next morning suffering from back pain I know I have uh, here you see you gently tap with the knee to the back by holding them in like a Heimlich type of um, hold basically so uh, you see there are multiple types here the next one is arguably the most important one and that is with someone that's dealt with like a head trauma for example a seonage they landed on their head a sode they landed on their head uh, or someone that suffered concussion uh, you can sit them and massage their head and basically take care of them so like i said this is a moral teaching that uh, not many know about uh, I like the name, the concept, Koatsu, restoring life. And also it uh, tends to make you more uh, empathetic and more responsible towards your partner because uh, it's inevitable to get into an accident, uh, maybe do like a hard ippon or uh, like put someone to sleep without noticing they're fighting, they're trying to get out, something happens, uh, it's too late. Or maybe someone that's just easily gets choked out they're like a small person uh, like for example here the, uh, the greatest example is the Jerby choke uh, by the way uh, Yarden and Clarice are best friends here this is the final of the world championship uh, Clarice fell asleep uh, it was in my opinion uh, Yarden's responsibility to help wake her up and resuscitate her basically uh, do a form of kuatsu kuatsu is imperative in my opinion uh, from white belt from day one it is not that hard to learn uh, and at the same time it increases like i said it's a moral teaching that should be taught and also uh, 
we are sparring, we do something to our partner, it's our responsibility to make sure they're okay and take care of them. So uh, I don't know why this is not being taught far more often. Uh, you know, after each stretching session, every uh, uh, judo session ends with like a group stretching. I don't know about you, but this is how my club does it. And it should be ended in koatsu, in my opinion. Uh, you know, take your partner and just do koatsu on them and vice versa. So uh, this is basically it. You have the lethal blows and how to take care with someone that got hit incredibly strongly. Uh, with these uh, tricks of kuwetsu uh, the books will be in the description below like i said uh, please feel free to check them out and read them and uh, learn more basically the kuwetsu book is very small you can finish it in just one sitting so if you have anything else to add let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only so uh, if any of you do kuwetsu in your school please do share and this was Shadi and thank you for listening.